All right, quick video here on the um, navigation meshes. Um, so I'm using Cinti's Apocalypse Pack here, and the buildings are awesome, and they have stairs. Okay, uh, if I build the nav mesh, right, you'll see that it is broken here at the top of the stairs. It worked, the bottom, but the top of the stairs is broken. Not all their models are have this problem, but some of their models have this issue where um, the regular mesh isn't baking the nav mesh over the edge. So what we need to do is switch to their collider mesh. Um, so Cinti provides, I think, pretty good collision meshes um, for their objects. But in order to switch to the collision mesh, we would have to come up here to the filter mesh, um, switch it to collision mesh, and then bake it. So if I bake now, all right, you'll see, okay, it went through. So, and then we would have to come back and switch it back. All right, and we would have to do that for every building that was broken every time we wanted to rebake um, the nav mesh. Um, and so I was like, okay, this sounds like a job for a script. Um, so I wrote a script and it is, let's see, let's get off the nav mesh there. If I go to tools here, mesh swap editor. So here's what it does. Um, if I click swap to collider mesh, boop, it's gonna switch all the buildings that have a mesh swapper onto their collider mesh. And then if I come back and I can go swap to render mesh, okay, it switches them back to render mesh. So the idea is that you swap to collider mesh, and then you bake the navigation, okay? And then you swap back to render meshes. So how do I do that? All right, um, let's look at the mesh swap code. So when a mesh swapper is added to a building, it automatically pulls the filter mesh into this original mesh object, okay? Um, and then what the mesh swapper does is it, it provides, uh, that's the reset method, grabs the shared mesh that's in the mesh filter. Um, the set to collider mesh checks to see if we have a mesh filter. If we do, it gets the collider mesh and puts it in the mesh filter. And then set renderer mesh um, takes the mesh filter, all right, and puts the original mesh back into it. Then I have a mesh swap editor, editor window class. Okay, and in the GUI, I just provide two buttons. And what we do is we grab all of the mesh swapper objects in the scene. Um, and then we either set the collider mesh or we set the renderer mesh. And that's how I did it.